getting ready to patch this roof and I figured I'd show you how to do this you could use regular shingles but I'm gonna be honest with you these rolls that are 102 square feet so they're three foot by whatever three foot wide uh, I don't know 30 or 50 feet long I don't even remember now so you're going to need either shingles or a roll of that. They only had it in white. They didn't have it in brown or black. So I just got what they had. It was actually on sale. It's around $29 a roll. You're going to need some roofing nails. I just stuck those in my pocket. You're going to need a tape measure, a hammer, some asphalt, and a caulking gun, and a way to cut the shingles. And I just used one of these utility blades. So earlier today, I got up there and measured it. I need one sheet that is 36 inches in length. And I think the other one was around 51 or 52 inches. And I always cut this way bigger than what it needs to be. So the 36 inches, it really only needed about 12 or 15 inches, one tab. But I'm going to make it wider on either side of that. And same way with the other one. I probably only needed, you know, 36 inches, but I'm going to make it around 52 or something like that. So I'll go ahead and get those cut to size. Then we'll take all this stuff up on the roof and I'll show you how I do this. Again, I needed this to be about 36 inches for one and 53 inches for the other one. So I'm basically just going to measure out 36 inches. And of course, it's going to be off camera. It's not a big deal. So usually what I do with these. Is I'll take. And put. About right here is where my 36 inches is. I'll just make a line. And then. I'll roll this in. To kind of give me somewhat of something I can follow when with my hand when I cut this. Makes it a little bit easier that way. You don't have to do it. But if you want it to be a relatively straight line, this is the easiest way to do it. You know, it's not going to be perfectly straight just because of the way that it's constructed, but... It will help this way. Probably can't even see what I'm doing. This stuff actually does cut pretty easy with one of these utility knives. Of course, regular shingles do too. <clears throat> Generally, when you're not being careless. There's a smaller one. I said the other one was 52, I think. Probably would have been easier for me to cut it from the other side, but oh well. you can't see that's part of the roof anyways.
Same deal. Cut through that one a little bit better. There's the second one. So now I've got them cut out. Now it's just get everything up on the roof. I'll bring you back after I get up there with all the material. Okay, so I brought up the asphalt, the cock gun, the hammer, the two pieces I cut. Here is the first one that I need to patch. It's basically one tab wide and I'll get set up here and kind of show you what I do that makes this a pretty good it will make this a pretty good fix and at least get me through the winter I mean that's really what I'm after is to get through winter So again, I've cut this piece wider than I need for it to be. This is technically the top that has the band part of it there. What you need to do, you need to loosen up the shingles on either side of it. I'm going to fold this down. We're going to loosen these up. They generally will loosen up pretty easy kind of cold they actually will loosen up better if it's warm so that one's loose this one's loose need the one next to it to be loose and uh, that should be enough so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this up under the shingles that I just loosened And you kind of want to take your time when you do this. I've got another one here I'm going to loosen also. And you can see that this actually slide up, slides up, usually until it hits about the first nail. So this is kind of the way that I want it, but we don't want this edge right here, which is kind of loose. Can you see that? This edge. This edge is kind of sticking up a little off of the roof. 
so we want to seal that down against the roof which is what we're going to use and I just realized I forgot my wire to pierce that <laughs> let me run down and get it I'll be right back all right I'm back I basically just <laughs> believe it or not this is just an old metal clothes hanger and I took it undid it straightened it out and let me show you what that's for This is also when you're going to need to have your hammer and your nails ready too. So I put the uh, the asphalt caulk. This is just all weather rough cement. It's basically liquid asphalt, at least when it initially comes out. And we're going to cut this end off. I usually like to have a pretty good wide opening there at the end. Something like that. I know you can't see it because of the sun. Then I'm going to shove my metal wire down in there to loosen up the end. And then I'm going to use that to go around these three edges that are exposed. And I'm going to run a pretty heavy bead of this asphalt uh, caulking on there. So that that way when I put the nails in, it's going to seal to the roof. And this will do a really good job. I've used it before on some other patches. So now I've got that done. And basically, I'll move this to the side so you can see. I'll raise this up way higher than what I normally would also so that you can see. And I'm basically just going to run a bead down through here. something like that do the same on this side also do the same along the bottom Just like that get this put down and then I'll run some nails just about where I think the caulking is at so it's in a little bit from the sides it ain't exactly right at the edge of it but being in a little bit I do more of safety precaution I can see where the bottom one's at because it's like right here so I'll just run a couple nails in here to hold it in place And this will be fine for now. Because I ran the caulking pretty much where the nails are at, I don't even really have to seal around the nails. Then across the bottom, I'll put a few.
And then for good measure, I'll just step on it just to kind of squash anything down that might be poked up. Now, back to what we had. Right here, we had a broken tab. It was in between these two. So it come over to about here and it come over and it come up. So we're extended well on the side of it, well above it, well on this side. Let me do that again. <laughs> it went from like this area in between like this brown tab right here. See that this is one tab. So in the center, that's where this was at, but it was down a row. So it was on this row from about right here and it went over to about right here. But we have put a shingle well above it, well to the sides of it, and well below it. And we sealed all the way around it. So no chance that's going to leak anytime soon. We are going to do the exact same thing with the missing one here. So we're going to skip this shingle because that underneath of it is obviously missing. This is missing. We're going to go up here. So two rows above that, we're going to loosen these shingles up, get it all set in there, do the exact same thing. This one is going to go from like one tab over all the way to the roof, just like that one up there, the black one did. So I'll get this set down, we'll get this done. And kind of watch, hopefully. Put these few nails back in my pocket that I still have in my hand. basically using this to figure out which row I want to go up to so I'm going to loosen up <sighs> that would be uh yeah I'm going to loosen up this row right here to the end. Don't want to put too much weight on this loose sheet because then I'll be falling on my butt. probably far enough away from the edge to be okay so now it's just getting it shoved up in there seems like I'm up against the nails I don't see any exposed places Call that one good too. Again, the patch is way larger than the area that needs to be patched. So now we're going to seal the edges just like the other one, nail it down.
me to kind of watch it because I am close to the edge of this roof. <laughs> And the hammer. So what's happening is I'm not really hitting anything solid on this edge, which don't make a bit of sense since there's actually a board right here. All right, I'll just come in some and do it. Hope that it holds. Usually these wider pieces, I put it more along the bottom because the uh, wind does come off of the lake. So if you don't have nails closer together, possibility they could eventually get pulled up or wind could get underneath that shingle and then you'd be up here doing the same patch over again. Again, I'm gonna walk on it just to make sure Got all of the gook squashed down. All right, and 
while I was up here, let me show you another thing I just found. So we're going to go ahead and fix it too, because I got everything up here to do it already. There was a bubble in this shingle, and I couldn't figure out why. And somehow a hole's gotten in there. It actually looks like something has, like, ate its way through the shingle. Isn't that weird? Almost could be like, I don't know, almost looks like a bullet hole. Like someone shot a gun up in the air and somehow it landed on my roof. But I'm just going to fill it in. While I've got this stuff here, I'm just going to wiggle it around, make sure it gets down in there. Probably going to do some underneath of it too. Raise this up and put some under it. Put a pretty good bit of it under it, matter of fact. That will just keep any rain from being able to hopefully ooze into there. Then I'll take and put a nail or two in it. Actually, I'll put one nail in that hole. And just use the hammer to... And then spread that over. Like that. And then I'll try to put a nail in this shingle. There may not be any solid wood under it. Yep, there is. Just to kind of hold everything down and force it to all be of course now doing all this extra stuff I'm getting crap all over my hands Again, I know that I need to uh, redo this roof in the spring, so it was just mostly try to get these done to get me through winter. The two patches are done. You can see where I patched them last year also, and uh, that, that's pretty much it. That's how I do it. Anyways, thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.